Hey everyone, here is a question on exercise 11.2, third one. This is from area and perimeter chapter of a class 7. So let's see what's the question here. So they have given to find the missing value and they have given three column. One is base, height and the last one is area of parallelogram. We have to find out here either base or a height. In the last column area of parallelogram is given. So what we have to do in this problem. So let us take the first question. Base is given, height we don't know. Area is given, that is 246 centimeter square. Now since we have given area of parallelogram, we're going to use a formula of area of parallelogram here, which is base into height. So let us write down what is area of parallelogram first. Now this formula will remain same for all the problems here. So area of parallelogram, let us put it down here. So in the first one, area of parallelogram is equal to So base into height. So base is given and height is given and one is given like either base is given either height is given and we have to find out the other one. So base into height. Now area is given in the first question the area is given is 246 centimeter. Base given is 20 centimeter. Height we have to find out. So let us substitute the value. So base is 20 and height we don't know. So let me put h there. Or you can take any other variable. So h, let us take h itself. And area of parallelogram we have given is 246. So let us substitute there. Area of parallelogram is equal to 246 centimeter square. Or just 246. Now, we have to find the value of h. So we don't want this 20 on the right hand side. We are going to tra transpose this to the other side. Since 20 is in multiplication, it goes to the other side. It comes in division here. So 20 is in uh, multiplication, multiplication when you transpose to the other side comes in division. So you have to divide the number here. So when we divide 246 by 20, we can either do the cancellation or you can divide the number. Here we are going to do the cancellation, we can cancel this by 2 table and uh, when we cancel this we will get 2 tens are 20 and here 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. And then we have a 6, so 2, 3 is a 6. So we got 123 upon 10. So from here we can write down h is equal to 123 upon 10. Or if we convert this into decimal, you don't have divide here. Just simply put the decimal because we have a 10 in the denominator. So from the right side, after one digit, we have to put decimal because we have only one zero in the denominator. That is 10 has only one zero, right? So answer will be 12.3 centimeter. That was the first question. Similarly, the second one. In second one, if you see here, they have given us a height and they have given us a base. And they have given the area of parallelogram. So, we are going to use the same formula here. So, let me write down the answer for the first one. So, it is 12.3 centimeter. And now, let me raise this and I am going to start solving the second question. Now, in the second one, like I mentioned before, height is given, base is not given. We have to find out. And the area is 154.5 centimeter. So let us substitute the values here. The formula will remain same. Area of parallelogram is equal to base into height. Base, it's not given. We have to find out the base. Area is 154.5 is equal to base. We have to find out. So we are going to write down B multiplied by height is 15 or 15 centimeter. Now same, same thing like a previous question. 15 we have to remove from there. We have to find out only the B value. So we are going to transpose 15 to the other side. So 15 is in multiplication. When it transposes to other side it comes in division. So 154.5 divided by 15 is equal to B. Let us do the cancellation here. But you can see we have a decimal. So we are going to remove the decimal here. That is 154.5. The point we are going to remove here. Now, after decimal, we have only one digit. I guess you might have learned this. I'm going to remove the decimal and in the denominator, I'll get 10 because after decimal, we have one digit. So, it will be a 10 in the denominator. So, uh, if, there is, if there are two digits after decimal, it will be 100. So, this is uh, what you have learned in your lower classes. I'm not going to explain that. So, let us proceed further for the cancellation. If in case it's confusing you, you can go with your own cancellation method. Now, we're going to cancel this in 5 table. So, when you cancel this, uh, we're going to cancel here 154, 1545 and 15 here. Both will get cancelled in 5 table. So, here we'll get 15, 3 is a 15 or you can even cancel with 10. It's completely upon you. 
but the answer at the end will will be correct so let me rewrite this so b is equal to 1545 by 15 multiplied by 10 or you can simply write down 150 now let us cancel this so 15 3s are 5 3s are 15 Now here, fifteen uh, will get cancelled. So five threes are fifteen, and four can we cannot cancel four, right? It's a single. So I'm gonna put zero there. Now I'm gonna consider forty five together, and we know five nines is forty nine, forty five. So three hundred nine. If in case confused, you can divide the number separately, and you can write down the answer. Again, we can cancel this in three table. Three ones are so three ones are three, and then zero and three threes are nine. So we got here is one hundred and three upon ten. Again, we, if we can cancel this in ten table, you can just simply put the decimal in the numerator by removing the ten from the denominator. So it will be ten point three centimeter. Now the next question. So let me write down the answer here. So base we got is ten point three centimeter. So the next one we have to find out the base. It this is similar to the previous question that is the second problem. Only thing is the height and area of parallelograms are different. The different value they have given. So let me erase this. Now in this question we have to find out the base, and we have given us the height which is eight point four and the area is forty eight point seven two centimeter square. Let us substitute here. So area of parallelogram is forty eight point seven two and base we have to find out. So let me write down B and height here will be eight point four. So since eight point four is in multiplication, we are going to transpose this to the other side. So when you transpose, it comes in division. So base will be equal to or you can write down. Forty-eight point seven two divided by eight point four. So forty-eight point seven two divided by eight point four is equal to base. Now I'm going to remove the decimal. So here I have a decimal in the numerator and in denominator. So when you remove the decimal from the denominator, or like let me let us start with the numerator. So once I remove the decimal from the numerator, that is forty-eight point seven two. Since there are two digit after decimal, I'll get hundred in the denominator. Okay, so this will become. Let me cancel that decimal here. So in, this is multiplied by hundred. Now in the denominator, since I have only one digit after decimal, so I'll get ten in the numerator. This is a short way. I'm not explaining details why we got ten and hundred. You might have learned this in your fourth and fifth class. Okay. Now the number we got here is. Let me rewrite this whole thing once again. So from here we can say b is equal to in the numerator we have four eight seven two multiplied by ten and divided by eighty four multiplied by hundred. Now we can cancel this in two table. I'm gonna cancel eighty four and four eight seven two in a two table. So this will become eighty four when you cancel. This will become forty two. Two fours are eight and two twos are four. So forty two will get, and in the numerator, so two twos are four. We have eight, so two fours are eight. We have seven, so two threes are six. So one will be the remainder. So that will gonna add up with two. So that will become twelve here. I'm not adding. I'm just placing here. That will become twelve. So two six are twelve. Again, we can cancel this in two table. So two ones are two. So two twos are four, and two ones are two. And in the numerator, again cancel. Two ones are two, then we have four, so two twos are four. Now three is there, so two ones are two. One will be the remainder. I'm gonna uh, make it sixteen. I'm gonna put one there. It will become sixteen, and two eights are sixteen. So this is how I cancel the number. If you have any other method, you can cancel it. Now I'm gonna cancel this in a seven table, or you can directly cancel in twenty one tables completely on you. I'm gonna cancel this in a uh, Uh, seven uh, three table sorry so three sevens are twenty one and here three fours are is twelve one I cannot cancel because smaller so I put zero there okay now I'll take eighteen together and we know three six are eighteen so I'll get four hundred six so four zero six now we can cancel this in seven table again so seven ones are seven. Now forty doesn't go right, so we have to take less than that. So seven fives are thirty five. So I'll get seven fives are thirty five. So forty minus thirty five fives are remainder. I'm gonna put five there, along with the six. It will become fifty six. And we know seven eights are fifty six. So I'll get eight there. 
now we cannot cancel further uh, we got one there so let me rewrite this we can cancel 10 and 100 right 10 ones are 10 and 10 tens are 100 we can just cancel the zeros so we got 10 in the denominator so uh, finally we got 50 here divided by 10 you can leave the answer here or convert this in decimal you get 5.8 centimeter so this is your base so for third question base is 5.8 centimeter that's it now we have a last question uh, which is 15.6 they have given base and the height is missing base and area of palogram is given now we have a last problem so let us substitute the values so area of palogram is 16.3a so 16 point this is problem d so let me write down d first and area of palogram is 16.38 base we have given here is 15.6 multiplied by height we have to find out so let me put height here h this is similar to the first question now i'm going to transpose 15.6 to the other side i'm going to be really quick here because video is becoming really lengthy it's almost uh, 14 minutes okay now this is the same thing we have to remove the decimal first so i'm going to remove decimal from the numerator you can see that there are two digits after decimal. It means we're going to get 100 in the denominator. This is a short way of doing the problem. And since we have a one digit after a decimal, after decimal in the denominator, I'll get 10 in the numerator. Now, let me rewrite what we got here. So, height is equal to, so 1638 multiplied by 10 divided by 156 multiplied by 100. You can cancel this in a uh, two table here. So when you cancel this, oh, let us cancel the number here. You can cancel this in a, uh, uh, you have to check here. You can cancel, you can start with two. Since both are even number, you can go with the four also. You need to check here. So I'm canceling here with the two tables. So two sevens are 14. One is left. I'm going to put along with a six, so it's 16. So two eights are 16. In the numerator, 2 is 16 and then 3 is there. So, 2 1s are 2. 1 will be the remainder. So, 2 9s are 18. Now, so 8 to 1, 9 I will get. Now, again we are going to cancel this. Since I have a 9 at the end, this means that this is not an even number. We cannot cancel this with a 2 table or any even number. So, let us cancel this with a 3 table. So, 3 2s are 6. Uh, and one is there so 18 so um, okay i'm sorry i'm gonna cancel this in a i've cancelled this in two table let me cancel this in a three table i got 39 it's my fault let me erase this first i'm gonna cancel this in a, a two uh, sorry three table here so let me rewrite this so three twos are six i have written three there it's a three twos are six when you cancel 78 I'm going to cancel 7 first. So, 3, 2 is a 6. So, when you cancel this in 3 table, we'll get 3, 2 is a 6. 1 is left. It's 18. So, 3, 6 is 18. When you cancel numerator, I'm going to cancel directly because a time is exceeding here. So, it will get 2, 7, 3. I'm going to cancel this directly uh, here. 10 and 100. I'll get 1 upon 10. Cancel 26 and 273, you will get 10.5. Now, since I have a 10 in the denominator, I will get 1.05. I am doing really quick because the video is becoming too long. We will get here 1.05 centimeter. So, when you cancel 26 and 273, you will get 10.5. Now, since 10 is there in the denominator, we will get 1.05. So, that's it. I hope this is clear. Thank you so much for watching.